Before we continue with the, the regular scheduled vlog, you guys, okay, so we all know that there's a time when everyone is in need and they need something, right? And it can be anything, doesn't matter. But the thing is, I have fundraisers that I have going on. I don't touch the money at all. They are... Um, link directly to this charity so the money that's placed in this fundraiser will go directly to them it's legit all i need you guys to do is just go to my um facebook page it's yasmin karu y-a-s-m-i-n-e c-a-r-e-w karu on facebook and go check these fundraisers out and it's okay if you guys share them, but don't just share them. Like, actually put money into these fundraisers. So the first one I have here, which I'm about to show you guys, is for epilepsy. And I'm trying to raise $1,000. All you got to do is just go to my page. It's what it looks like. My face, obviously. You go, click on Donate. You donate, yada, yada, yada. Then I have another one that's for Puerto Rico. Everything specifically set up for them. I'm trying to raise 2000 for them. I already got $20, obviously, because I put it in an account myself. But it's the same thing. You go, you click donate. You can also share because it's public. It's all you guys got to do. It's easy. One, two, three. Okay? Everyone and their mom always doing the GoFundMe things and... You give out money, you know, for no apparent reason. Whether it's a dollar, whether it's five, whether it's 20, whether it's 10. It doesn't matter. Just spread the word. Spread the love. Give what you can to help these charities out. Okay? That's it. Now on to the vlog. Hola todos. Como estas? Howdy, buddy. Hello, everybody. How are you? <laughs> Today, okay, okay, all right. Okay. We haven't been posting vlogs like that. I was about to say something else. Because I just said, hello, how are you, in three different languages. So, yeah, excuse that. But we haven't been posting vlogs like that because life's caught up with us. We have um, so many things going on. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill you guys in. Right now, we're on our way to the emergency room because AJ has some type of reaction going on where his lip is swollen and the whole left side of his face down to his neck is swollen. No, the right side is swollen. So right now, we're on our way to um, the hospital on post. Um, I mean, he's okay, but we just wanna figure out what exactly is wrong, get um, antibiotics if this is necessary, and whatever else. But besides that, um, obviously we've started up another IUI cycle. Um, we haven't had the chance to really let everybody know. I've been getting a lot of inboxes, as well as my husband. Um, obviously the last IUI that we did was not successful. Mind you guys, it has nothing to do with us. IUIs, you have a small percentage as to it happening so um yeah it's not because there's something wrong or anything like that like when you do iui ivfs it, you're definitely playing um it's getting darker you're definitely playing russian roulette so um yeah we only have a few more months here so we're gonna try to finish this up and try to get one successful one out of this because in Germany you guys we definitely found out that they don't have it on post for us that it's only civilian which means we would have to pay out of pocket and for people who don't understand that um, when it's covered under TRICARE or we have a military facility that's willing to do it you only pay for a sperm wash which is only 200 and something dollars versus if we were going if we would do to do it in Germany 
and we go to a civilian, we will be paying in the thousands range to do this whole entire procedure. And that's medicine, the ultrasound, and et cetera. Like, you would have to pay out of pocket. And it's just way too much. It's not as expensive as it is here in the States, but it's still in the thousands range. And that's just something that, I mean, we can get it, but it's like, that's not something that I'm, I'm willing to really spend all that money on playing Russian roulette if it's not gonna be a guarantee. Excuse me. And outside of that, when we do find out if we're pregnant, you guys won't find out or we won't post a vlog until we're like weeks in, about three months within the pregnancy before we vlog it and allow everyone to know. Now we will be vlogging like us finding out and the weeks counting up to that time but you guys basically won't see those vlogs until we're about three months until we're like close to doing a gender reveal then you guys will get those videos so the videos will be outdated but you guys will get them then and that's just something that we decided to do and you know just to keep things under wraps because obviously during those times it's very sensitive and you can lose the pregnancy at any time so I would rather just keep that between us two but if it's unsuccessful I don't have a problem with letting you guys know but just be patient about it because it is very it is a very touchy subject at times um for us both so it's not that easy for us to just jump out that day and be like yeah guys you know oh, we didn't get it you know what I'm saying? Like, we're humble about the situation, but obviously we still have feelings. So it's kind of like, dang. But at the same token, like, we understand what it is that we're getting ourselves into. And we're trying to help you guys understand it at the same time. Like, again, there's nothing medically wrong with me or him. It's just... Timing. It's just, yes, yeah, timing. And then it's just... It's all in God's hands, basically. It's, bas like, a way to basically put it. Besides all of that, um, I don't know if you guys, everyone follow me on um, Instagram or not, but I was having car issues, so the other car just got picked up and is getting um, taken care of. So hopefully, fingers crossed, like everything goes well with that one. But yeah, that's pretty much, that's all been going on with us. I've already started my medicine up. I'm on my fourth or fifth shot um, today. And I guess because we took a break, like the only symptoms that I'm really having are like the headaches and um, the dizziness, the nausea and stuff kind of went away, but the headaches are like, they're not going anywhere and they're very terrible. Um, at times I'm able to deal with them right now i'm pushing through with these lights in my eyeballs it's like making a headache a little worse but and then chewing i also got tmj so i think that's probably why i got a headache on top of a headache but anyways you guys right now we're driving like i said we're on the way to the hospital and maybe when we get there you guys will see aj on camera because he do got a mask on so he'll probably get on camera during that time but we'll see you guys when we get to the hospital We are here. We are here, Oscar. Yes, no talkie, no talkie talkie. Mm -mm. No speaky Korean. My tongue is, 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 is feels the weird. Now his tongue feels weird, y'all. <laughs> he be coming up with a whole lot of stuff on his way to the hospital. Now he like, the bottom row of my teeth feel funny. My tongue is feeling funny. I think I can fly It too. was tingling, his head was tingling. Y'all, <laughs> I, I, I can't deal. <laughs> I cannot deal. Anyway, man in my past life. Okay, but a few days ago you was just Batman, and then a few days after that you was a vampire, and then and so I said past life. A day before that you was a wolf. You keep changing. Like, come on, past stick with one thing. Life. Past Anyways, y'all, we about to walk in and we about to um get checked in and stuff like that. And I don't want to have a camera out. This door don't like me. So, I be scared I'm gonna get stuck in this little spinny thingy. Anyway, 
My feet are cold. So we'll probably check back in about time we get into the um, room or something. So you guys, we are in the back. Are you in the back, Oscar? You in the back or you in the front? I in the back. You the back of the back? The front of the back. And that's what the room looks like. Let me get y'all room tour. So <laughs> Anyways, we literally just walked back here. Um, like We done moved up to the east side. Like we finally got five minutes ago. Back. Two minutes, five minutes ago, whatever. We only been in here for a few minutes, not even twenty. Not even ten. They're um, doing a shift change right now, so waiting for who's coming on shift, the new doctors, the new nurses, and et cetera, to come in. The nurse that was doing um, vitals and all that stuff out there gave him a guess as to what it could be. It's the same thing that I kind of was saying, but um, so right now we I'm glad we came to the hospital. Um, but obviously it's gotten a little worse and I'm kind of concerned now because it's down in his neck and in his face, which means it's spread it. So, um, probably just like antibiotics for now. Someone's getting ready to come in, so I'll see you guys in the next clip. Just assess you real quick. So, the nurses just came in and hooked them up to the machine. They got vitals going right now so far. Asked um, the same normal questions, so we're waiting for the doctor to actually come in and some tests start up and you know begin the process of running the tests and everything like that so that we can figure out exactly what it is, get some antibiotics in his system, and get out of here and go home. I have an appointment in the morning at 7.30. And I have to get up early, early, early because we might have only one car to deal with. I'm kind of feeling a little, little sketchy, sketchy about this guy who towed our car to his shop to get it fixed. He's not texting back. It's making me a little bit on edge. I'm not liking it. I will call the police. This is like taken. I will find you. I will hunt you down. I will find you. And when I find you, you will go to jail. After you get a weapon. Anywho. So yeah, we're waiting for the doctors to come in. We're waiting for this guy to text back about this car. You better text back. Ain't that right, babe? Hello. Hello. Anyways, you guys. So, the doctor just came in and tapped on his teeth, pressed his face, yada, yada, yada. And was saying that it could be an infection coming from his tooth that kind of spread it out. So, obviously, they're going to give him antibiotics. Antibiotics is a necessity when it's an infection. They're also going to call the on-call on call, on call dentist to come down and take a look at it and see, um, you know, like, what his call is as far as diagnostics. Diagnosing him. And, um, like, what exactly he would do. AJ thinks he's going to get his tooth pulled out. The doctor's like, not by me, it could be by the dentist, I don't know. So, we're waiting for, that to, for them to come, for uh, him to come down. Then they're also going to do a CT, um, so basically waiting for that. And then, hopefully we'll know by then, we'll see you guys in the next clip. Take a deep breath. Oh, uh, I ain't done nothing yet. I know. I just, I don't know. I've already been there, done that a few times. 
Uh, he doesn't like needles. But he has to get it so that you can get your medicine. Don't think about it. Oh, it make me feel terrible and I haven't done nothing yet. Uh, it's, it's weird I got all these tattoos. Just, it's I'm not just, the same. Bro. Yeah, I'm, exactly. It's going through my skin. It's, it's not the same. Oh, God. Oh. He looks very confident in himself, babe. Okay, wait. Just give me a second. Let me just... You're making this horrible on yourself. Okay, right. right. Just get it over with shut already. Up. Don't tell me to shut up. You gotta hold still though, that's the biggest thing. Okay. You move, then it's gonna be 10 times harder. Mm. Ah, we're done. Fuck. Right. Y'all see how rude he was to me? In that clip. Oh, he about to go to CT, but they just took blood um, to check everything and to check his white cell count to see if he's fighting really hard and if, if the white cell count is up. But he told me to shut up because he was scared and get his bag on needle. So rude. And they're going to be nice to the man. We're giving him the needle. Oh, thank you. Tell me to shut up. I was like, I hope it blows and he has to stick you again. I just hope my is right. Look at this, y'all. That's another thing. This IUI cycle, the medicine is like making me break out. But the, look at these eyebrows, though. These eyebrows are on fleet. But not this. This here, I got a bump there. I got some over here. I'm not really licking it. I need to go get my ends clipped. It's really. Time to get them clipped, badly. And I still got color in my hair. It was like green and blue. Anyways, so we're waiting now for them to take him to um, CT and get a CT of his jaw and call um, the dentist that's on call and wait for the blood results and that result and all that to come back and get him antibiotics and we may or may not be going home but nine times out of 10, he is about to be on quarters. So, which means no work and no PT test for him, which this PT test is really important. So, yeah, but it was already said from the Colonel himself that um, it is not allowed to do anything because of this infection. And obviously with the type of strand, it can kill somebody, so. And watch us on Facebook. Anyways, you guys, I'll see you in the next clip. Wait, show them. Wait. I mean, what's your name? Your name? Your name? I forget. I'm my name. I call for you now. Call it again. Oh my guys, so. The um, on-call oral surgeon came down, and everything came back. Um, CC came back normal. They're just concerned because of swelling in the face and the throat, so they gave him two options: either um, go home and do antibiotics, or they're gonna admit him and do it because they want to make sure that it's going down. And they, if we go home, we have to come back in the morning. So um. So that they can do a follow up. But I guess we're waiting on him to come back to after he speaks with his chief to figure out whether or not they actually gonna go ahead and admit him on their own 
observation amongst each other if they feel like that's the best or they may come back and still give us those options and we decide whether or not um, he should be admitted or if we should just come back in the morning but yeah he watching Love and Hip Hop live which Miami I'm you said your mouth's buddy guys obviously still in the hospital it is now 1208 and they gave him antibiotics i don't think you guys can see it where where is it where is it anyways it doesn't matter it's up there somewhere but they gave him antibiotics um so we waiting for that to go in. Once it goes in, we have to sit here for 10 minutes, make sure he does not have a reaction to it. And then we're gonna head home. He has an appointment tomorrow at 0800. Is done. And yeah, so basically, obviously has an infection, but they don't know exactly where the infection is coming from. Could have got bitten by a spider in his sleep. We don't know, but yeah. I am hungry. They gave us some graham crackers. They gave us some water. Obviously it wasn't good enough. I'm hungry. I only ate one time today. So I plan on getting me something to eat before we go into the house. He over here pretending like he's sleeping. He really not. You said nothing to the people at all. Good people. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, this vlog is probably about to be very, very, very long. My name is Oni. Why, 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 we just came in to do an update on everything in the midst of this update had an emergency so we decided to share it um still counting down for germany and we had a talk and we had a talk off camera a very serious one we almost kicked him off the bed they was finna call the mps and everything on me okay maybe the mps weren't about to get called but I was finna kick him off the bed. Like, foot to chest. hi -ya. Anyways, so. <laughs> thumbs up this video, you guys. Make sure you share it out and subscribe. And let everybody know, man. That the Karoos got a vlogging channel. Wait. If y'all want to know what this conversation is about. Ask her. And then we'll both tell you. If you guys want to know what the conversation slash argument was about, comment down below and we'll make a vlog about it. Let's just say I have a lot of things that I need to work on. Do you guys want to know everything that goes on in our life? And in a marriage, it's not just all good and happy fun, so... I guess I gotta explain a couple things again. So I guess you guys gonna get the bad too. So if you guys do wanna know exactly what's going on or what happened. Comment below. And, and after I, the video, please don't make any rude comments. Cause you know, I know how y'all females are. Y'all gotta stick together. Anyways, you guys, so until next time, Peace. Skidoosh.